All right. I suppose this is the spot where the camera person could actually make a fairly serious mistake. <laughs> I think that would be fine. See now, did, have you noticed on Bill's right ear, he's got that new caver style of earring?
Okay. I've never been able to repel with all the bars in before. Huh. What if I should go get my rack then? I, you might want to. Either that or the If you have a good bottom line. Okay, and we'll see how this little thing does. First of all, I guess it would be interesting to kind of look over the edge there. We have the general direction of travel, which is in a direction generally called straight down. Here we have... I've got a second rope, and I could belay you. Here we have the rigging, um, with a few loops. That would make you feel more comfortable. That would be fine. However, I think I'm feeling like that's probably pretty good here. I have my little bar here. The rope is, uh, okay. There's to be a Let's see here. I think I'm good. What I'd kind of like to do before I actually end up, first of all, feed it in the right little groove right here. Yeah, like so. Okay. And I think I'm in good shape. I'd like to be able. And I could turn around or maybe even just lean, get, oh, the sun's right up there, Peter. <laughs> There's Peter. Now we're good, I think. Hopefully, we're good to kind of make a little descent here. The rope seems to be a good speed. Let's see. We can see down here, past the old pack. And there it is. The general direction of travel, the idea being to traverse that distance with slow enough speed to be safe. And here we go. Here we have a rather remarkably loose chunk of rock. It probably isn't as loose as it actually looks, but on the other hand, it just might be, folks. Okay, let's have a look. In fact, up the rope. And there it is, folks. The lip of lemon. Oh, yeah. All right, now I'm going to see if I can bend over and get a shot pretty much straight down the pit. What's that? All right. Thank you for telling me, Al. I won't be surprised. Hey, here we go. Oh, starting to notice already the very pleasant coolness. And we're getting into some drapes here right in front of us. Unfortunately, as uh, we hate to see, but we see too often, some of them are broken right there. Unfortunate. Well, here are some other drapes. I'm going to pause and see if I can kind of get a shot up to the top of the pit. That's something stopping me. Up oh, some strap. There we go. Top of the pit as we go down. That sound is the rope passing through my rack. Bill is holding it below so that if it passes too quickly or if I lose control, Bill will put a lot of weight on the rope and that will slow me or stop me. And that's the belay. And here we are back with uh, some beautiful curtains here. And this light is just working wonderfully. Okay, we're now probably on the order of 25 or 30 feet down. Very pleasant descent. Uh, Bill, I'm starting to go a little faster. So if you're if you're ready to belay, ready. I'll let you know when it gets to that. Let's get a shot downwards now. I can see your light, Bill. There's your light. And there you are. In fact, see if I can zoom on you. Not very easily, because I'm twisting. About halfway down now. I think we ought to take another look up at the top. And there's the top. We'll back up. And there we go. And then let's go over and look at the little formations over here. We're coming up to this big large rock here. 
And there's an area over here. Oops, getting a little faster. Slow me up just a tad, Bill. And there's Bill. Let's see if we can get a zoom on Bill. We got a zoom on Bill. Now if you'll just come into focus. Hey, Bill. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. And let's see if we can get Bill again. Ouch. That, yes, that wreck is hot. A little bit hot. Not a lot of hot. Hey, Bill. Hey. Nice ride down. Very nice. Very pleasant. Better than I expected. By far. Here we are. Gee, no snakes, no dead skunks, nothing that stinks. <laughs> it's always a plus. Okay. Let's see. Whew, all right, let me get a little. I gotta get that rack off there, Carl. Okay, yeah. Thanks, yes, yeah, I hope. Let's zoom in on the top of the pen. I hope the bat fly again. It is really cool. And there's the blue sky. So I'm 100 and plus feet up. I wish I could hold the camera more steady. What happened to... Hey, okay, watch where you step. How's it feel, Ann? What? How's the rope feel? Fine. Okay, good. you have on your tripod there, Peter, that allows the camera to slide from side to side so that you can get both of the stereo shots. Is that what that deal is? Got it. And is there some theory about how far the distance is between shots compared to the distance to the subject? 